is up, y'all? It is Black Ape, the nastiest boy, the smallest indigo walls, and I'm coming to you live from Los Angeles today. My wife, Michelle, is pregnant, so we're doing a little bit of like a baby moon. We're actually really hungry. I will catch you guys up throughout the day on what we've done so far, so let's get going. What is up, you guys? We're going to Mohawk General Store. Looking forward to going into Mohawk and seeing what they got. They carry Andrew Garments, Our Legacy, Reese Van Known, Craig Green, Bodie, and a whole lot of other really cool brands. This is awesome, actually. Jack Moose action. I love the burnt orange color, it's really nice. It's like a really flowy rayon or something. Probably try that on. These pants are sick. It's very like southern and Atlanta. I feel like everyone has a pair of salmon colored pants. Dad pants? Bad bunny. Oh, bad bunny. That makes me like them more. This is sick. Mare did like a special collab, it looks really nice. Sick. Craig Green. Love the color. What do you have here? Got the Lemaire shirt, Jack Moose piece, red green jacket, just love the color, and these Orly pants. Probably try to find another pair of pants or two because I feel like I feel like you build your wardrobe from the pants out. So if you add some new pants to your collection, it helps really build new outfits together. At least that's how I think about it. So I'm gonna see if they have any other pairs of pants. I've seen a lot of like jeans and whatnot, but. I want to see if they have something a little more unique, different. Maybe you need black pants. Black pants? That's a good point. We got on tape, people. She seen I need more black pants. I only have one pair. I think it fits me pretty good. I really like the color. The color looks great. It's blue. It's blue, but my eyes are blue. So it matches. Something different in your closet. I actually don't have anything blue jackets. I don't have any blue jackets. You have one. No, I don't. Jackets? I have a navy jacket, but not a blue jacket. It's navy blue. Navy blue, but not blue. Ah, oh, okay. Hmm. I think this actually looks good with the jeans. It's like two different colors of denim. The patches are cool too. What do you think, baby? Volteate. It's a little small. It's a little small. No creo. Intenta cerrarlo. Mm. Si cierra. I'm not fat, baby. But I am. And this for me, not for you. <laughs> Pero es tu talla. Huh? Tu talla. It's a medium. The sleeves on Dre's always fit long, so I have to roll them up. No se ve tan grande. It's a little long. You don't think so? O sea, si es un poco largo, pero no se ve más. Just finished up at Mohawk General Store and my boy Carl, the sales associate in there, his, his vibes were on point. So if y'all are ever in LA and you go to Mohawk General Store, definitely hit up Carl. They didn't really have like a ton of stuff. I asked to try on, I think like eight different pieces and they only had like three or four of them. And almost all of them were in medium versus small, which is usually what I go for. 
But anyways, really fun, um, little, little trip. And uh, I, I made a decision, I made the executive decision that I'm not gonna buy anything until Saturday, until I've went to all the stores and get a sense of, you know, what, what all my options are. I, I don't wanna get excited at the first thing I see and then your boy is just broke as a joke for the rest of the trip. So I think we might head back to the hotel. The missus is a little tired. Turns out being pregnant takes a lot of energy. All right, so I promised I would catch you guys up. Got the coffee, let's have a little a little chat now. So we got in on Tuesday and we tried in and out And honestly, I gotta be honest with y'all, in and out it was okay. I would say the fries were mid. They were not good at all. The burger was definitely good, good price, but I'll be honest y'all, I, I don't see all the hype. I don't see what all the hype is for. It, it, was, it was a decent burger for a good price, but I don't know. Roast me in the comment section if you want to, but I just was not that impressed. And then uh, on Tuesday, we decided to go to Santa Monica, which was really nice. Did all the rides, all that fun stuff, really fun. And then just went back to the hotel, and probably the funniest slash most memorable thing happened. I'm, I'm, I have to go out to the car at like 9.30 at night, and I'm just kind of on edge, because I don't know the neighborhood at all. I don't know what's going on. We're staying in a cheaper hotel that night, and I had to go out to the car, and I'm coming back, and I'm like, you know, if something's bad's gonna happen to me, it's gonna be when I'm somewhere I don't know and it's nighttime and I'm alone. And I'm like 300 feet away from the hotel and I see this person come out of like an apartment building or something and it's a trans person. I like make brief eye contact and then look away and keep walking. And they do too, like at the same speed. And I'm a pretty fast walker, but they kept walking at the same speed as me. And then suddenly they like turn, walk really close to me and go, I like you. <laughs> and like a deep voice like that. And so now I'm like super on edge, my heart's like beating. And then they just turned around and walked away. So I don't know what that was about, if it was to scare me, if it was an honest flirtation. If it was, I'm flattered, but unfortunately, you know, I'm taken. So if they ever see this, you know, my condolences. But the next day, which was yesterday, Wednesday, we had a photo shoot in Rancho Cucamonga, like a maternity photo shoot. I'll post some pictures on my Instagram, so go follow me there if you don't already. Um, most interesting that thing that happened besides the photo shoot was on the way there we were driving out and this cop car comes and it's like a six lane highway they turn their lights on and start swerving across all six lanes to basically stop the cars and get them to slow down and they're doing it for like a solid minute and then they just turn off their lights and they get off on the next exit I don't know if the car was stolen or what, but it really felt like we were in Grand Theft Auto. So I see where the inspiration comes from for the game now. I realize that that might be role play more than it is like, you know, a fantasy gangster game. But anyways, um, we've been having a really good time. I didn't think I was gonna like Los Angeles as much as I have. I had pretty low expectations and thought it was gonna be disappointing. So maybe that's why I've been enjoying it so much, but honestly, the weather has been fantastic. There's a lot of stores and people and everything. The drivers here are super aggressive, but that's a whole nother story. And um, yeah, there's a lot of shops and it's just, it's been a good time so far. So that's my thoughts. Anything you like to add, baby? I like the weather. She likes the weather too. What's up, you guys? We just got back to the hotel room, but I figured, you know, why not do like a quick little hotel room tour, show you guys where we're staying at. We're staying here for three nights of our total five days here. I decided to do three separate hotels because we saved a little bit of money. Um, this one's the most expensive. It's like 300 a night, and I just didn't want to pay $1,500 to stay in hotels. But pretty nice, spacious hotel overall, so let me give you a quick run through. So as soon as you walk in, nice full body mirror that yours truly is currently talking to you in. Then we do a quick spin. You have the mini bar, which I won't touch because stuff's crazy expensive and I don't even drink. And then you have a little closet space here. And then over here, you'll see this beautiful Latina woman who did not come with the room, but she came to the room with me because she's my wife, thankfully. And then we have two beds because, you know, we love each other. We don't like each other that much. So, you know, we could sleep separate and have, you know, little visits when we need them. And then we have our little desk action over here. And it's actually kind of cool. You have a view of the Dolby Theater right there, that brown building right there. And then if we really zoom in, you can see right over that is the Hollywood sign, which I think is pretty cool. So over here, you have just a little chair with like all of our luggage and stuff on it. 
TV in a pretty awkward location. I don't know who's going to watch TV on this wall, but okay. And then walking into the bathroom, you have yours truly again. What's up, you guys? And I don't know why or how, but this is like the third or fourth hotel we've stayed in that's like handicap approved. So because of that, you have this like shower that you can roll a wheelchair into and then like a seat if someone wants to use it. And then they also have a wand in case, you know, you can't stand up, you still need to get all of your areas clean. And then they have a traditional shower head right there. So I don't know, I don't mind it. You know, it doesn't bother me at all, but still thought it was kind of interesting. And then lastly, just have the toilet and then some shelves with towels and whatnot over there. And yeah, that is our room. Editing the video right now and realizing that it's getting super long. So to make it a little bit more digestible, I'm gonna break it up into two parts. But instead of going chronologically, I'm gonna do it based on kind of overall aesthetic. So we're about to jump forward a bit in the timeline to the next day, about halfway through the day. And we're gonna to go to the Visum flagship store in LA. Cool jacket, isn't it? It's like the sashiko all over it. Down lining. Size two. So this is a medium. guys so literally i'm in this room trying some stuff on and apparently you can't park here after three o'clock it's 3 10 and homie pulls up to tow us and anyway so we just had to run out um they didn't really have a ton of stuff in the visum store um guys are super nice they're always so nice within there but as probably a lot of you guys know visum's one of those brands where like you have to like really stay up to date with it What's up y'all? Our dinner reservation is in about 40 minutes, so we're gonna try to do a speed run to the Rick Owen store and Bodie, which are both right near to the restaurant. Um, so I don't know, we'll see. If the vibe's really good at Rick Owen's, which is where we're going first, might spend a little extra time there and then try to loop back to Bodie tomorrow, but we will see. So we're about to walk in right now. Yo, what's up guys? We just went in and out of Rick Owens in like 15 minutes. It was a beautiful store, very well laid out. The sales associates were super friendly. They asked us not to film though after we had grabbed a number of clips. Um, I only had tried on the leather jacket, size 48, and it was beautiful guys, just chef's kiss. But Rick jackets just fit so weird on me. The sleeves are super long, they're tight in the body and the shoulders. And I don't know, just a size 50 would have had even longer sleeves. It would have been a little bit more comfortable in the body, but Anyways, if you're tall and skinny, I think it's an amazing thing. But anyways, we gotta pop over to Bodhi. We have about 25 minutes before our dinner reservation. So I'm gonna take you guys there right now.
Oh man, I'm looking a little, looking a little scruffy, you guys. I need to shave, but I've been burning that midnight oil to get this video edited for you guys. But hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was a fun one for me to make. So if you did enjoy it, please leave a like. It really helps the channel. And consider subscribing. I have a lot of other fashion content coming, including part two, which will come out next week. And if you don't want to wait that long to watch some more videos like this, check out this one that I did in Portland. That's a pretty fun one to watch as well. So thanks again for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.